So as you know, our um, work has been involved in dis patients after um, discharge from hospital, slightly different from um, everybody else's. Um, we're looking at general harm, but for the collaborative, the um, specific aim had to be something, so we picked nausea and vomiting. Um, we're actually looking at getting harm from constipation, itch, and um, drowsiness. Um, the, and our interventions that we're planning are non-specific, so they're not, actually, they're not designed to reduce nausea specifically, they're designed to um, hopefully reduce harm overall, um, all the different types of harm. The interventions that we've tested, we've produced this prescriber um, decision tool for opioids, uh, so they, the house surgeons. Um, they come along, they have absolutely no idea how to prescribe, what to prescribe. They ask their um, orthopaedic um, registrars um, who don't know the difference between codeine, oxycodone, whatever, um, and prescribe willy-nilly. Um, so we've made this uh, decision tool in conjunction with one of the house surgeons, uh, tried it out. Uh, in a teaching session and had positive feedback about that. They um, have wanted it uh, to be given out at the next um, house surgeon um, changeover um, and they feel confident that, that they at least are going to be prescribing safely and have got some idea what to do. Um, we're in the process of doing a patient information leaflet um, and as you probably all know it's actually really difficult to get the right uh, amount of words that people understand on a small bit of paper. Uh, so our data, the blue line is the overall harm. So we're actually, and that's percentage of the patients that we interview. Um, so you can see we're actually causing quite a lot of harm, peaking at 90% of our patients. So that could be one harm or it could be all four of the harms that I've described. Obviously some are less um, significant. So on the nausea um, scale, the, if you look at our data, it looks like we started off really well right at the beginning, caused some nausea by um, actually phoning patients up and asking them questions, and then we've produced the uh, intervention tool, the prescriber decision uh, tool, and the percentage of people that are getting nausea and the percentage of people that are actually, uh, the nausea is affecting their daily living as um, Dropped, dropped down, so we hope that perhaps is related to um, the quantities uh, of the drugs that they're actually being sent home on. The overall harm has remained the same, so something else must be getting worse as a result of our, um, our decision tool or something that we're unable to change, particularly with the decision tool. The bottom um, part is uh, where we were looking at the actual prescriptions that were uh, dispensed compared to what we thought um, they should have been prescribing based on what they'd used in hospital on the last day um, in hospital. And I've been colour coding them as green, perfect prescription, red, um, a dangerous prescription, and amber was, some, was probably a safe um, prescription, but inc incorrect nevertheless. Um, it's early days, it's really hard to, um, uh, to show any, any um, change, change there, mainly because we're using, um, we are surveying such a small number of patients. Um, hopefully there'll be something to show soon. We've had really good um, uh, engagement with the, uh, with the uh, DHB. We had to present to the clinical board. Um, they were really enthusiastic about it, particularly as they can see that uh, related to discharge uh, medication that, that it will be useful across the whole hospital will help uh, when electronic prescribing comes into the hospital maybe that, that there'll be good key in there, buy in there and also community pharmacies are really interested to um, take it one step further um, from the immediate discharge out into, uh, into the community which is quite exciting for us I suppose. The house officers have been enthusiastic um, key lessons, well, we're all, uh, no matter what you're doing in hospital, 
we're causing a huge amount of harm to the patients as soon as they, um, they go home. And I'm sure it can't just be happening in Auckland. Um, and key lesson to avoid the struggles, which were, um, we don't have any IT support. We haven't got enough time to, um, uh, to survey these people, uh, let alone then collate it into data, which we can analyze, which is why we're so far behind um, success. I think the, um, the buy-in from the, uh, the, the whole hospital um, has been encouraging. Thank you.